Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, everybody. I'm sorry for the delay, uh, but hi, good evening. I'm sorry for the delay, but I, I was getting problems with the with the Zoom application. I don't know why it was not responding. Pasé como cinco minutos tratando de entrar y, y, y no podía. No sé, era raro. All right, but the good thing is that. Ya ve, yo le dije que no sirve la plataforma, pero usted no me cree. Uy. Ok. All right. Okay, just give me one second. I'm just checking some messages that you're sending privately. Give me one second. Uh, okay, cool. So uh, as I said, uh, let's just start, you know, like with the information from tonight. So I'm gonna pass the attendance list. Give me one second. I'm just gonna check if we are recording this thing. No, I said la de malas. I am in. It is being recorded. Okay, let's start with uh, the attendance list. Edson Mariano. Present teacher. Ah, okay, good. Gabriel Esau. Good evening. Good evening, mister. Jocelyn Yajaira. Jocelyn Yajaira. No, she's not here. Judith Maribel. Good evening. Okay, good evening. Carla Ivania. Apparently she's busy. Okay, but she's there. Carla Lorena. Good evening. Good evening. Let me see. Jesus, what did I do? All right, Catherine Guadalupe. Present. Ah, okay, very good. Maria Elena. Maria Elena, okay, she's not here. Present. Ah, okay, here you have. Uh, Marilyn Alejandra. I'm here. Ah, okay, good. Mario Ernesto. Present. Perfect. Marvin Alexander. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, let's move. Monica Maricela. Monica Maricela, are you there? Hmm. Okay, I guess she's here. Nelson Fabricio. Nelson Fabricio. All right, he's not here. Norma Beatriz. Norma Beatriz. Okay, she's not here. Patricia Guadalupe. Patricia, okay, she's not Present. here. Ah, okay. Ah, yeah, I mean, she's there. Roberto Emilio. Present teacher. Okay. Ruth Guadalupe. Present teacher. Give me one second, now, but I, I don't see your, your, I am in this there. Okay, Ruth. Santos Cristina. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Cristina. Okay, William Hola. Alexander. Present teacher. Okay, good. Jocelyn Stephanie. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Juan Ricardo. Juan Ricardo. Okay, Juan is not here. It is Cecilia. Teacher, me anotó. 
Yes, Cristina. Ah, ok, gracias. Ok. Pensé que no me había oído. Sí, sí, la escuché. Ok. Ana Silvia. Ana Silvia, ¿y de? Present teacher. Ah, ok. Perfecto. Francisco Ernesto. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. All right, Abigail Elizabeth. Good evening. Okay, nice. So you're gonna be the last one. All right, perfect. So let's start, you know, like with the information that we got for tonight, people. Since you remember, basically, we were working in uh, two different structures last class, okay? So in that case, before moving out or moving on with the next topic that we are going to be discussing tonight, I would like we to start, you know, with a short feedback about what were we discussing, right? The previous class. So we're going to start with that in order to move on with the next topic. So just give me one second. I'm going to project this whiteboard for you guys. And let me see, try to get, okay, or try to recall what were we discussing last class. Okay, I'll put it in here this thing. What were the topics that we were discussing last class? Do you guys remember the topics that we were discussing last class? Uh -huh. What was it? Could, could you? Ah, okay. Let me see. Could you and? And good you mind. Good you mind. Ah, okay. Very good. These were the two structures that we were discussing yesterday, right? Okay. In one, if you remember, they were normal questions, okay? In which you got us a structure using cool plus subject plus what? So in this case, main verb, okay, in base form, plus complement, and plus the question mark. That was the most common structure that we were processing, processing about could, right? What about would? If you remember, it was, would you mind? Plus, okay, so in this case, listen, plus verb, verb in what? I-N-G. Uh, okay, in I-N-G, plus the complement, right? And plus a question form. This were the structures that we were basically working with last class, okay? This was the structure. So in questions, okay, we can put as examples this ones. Could you please, we can even include words like these, turn on your cameras. You see, that was one very good question, right? So another one using would you mind? Would you mind? <laughs> The same example, but with different structure. Turning on your cameras in the class. So you see, I got this too. All right, questions. And what were the possible answers to these questions, people? A ver. ¿Cómo serían las respuestas así, más sencillas para este tipo de preguntas? Yes, 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 of course. Okay, you got a variety, right? 
Yes, of course. Right away. Right now. In the Good night, teacher. Good night, Good. one. Okay. Okay. Sure. Oh, yes. Sure. All right. So in this case, for both the structures, this type of things is available, right? Give one second. Okay. Who got that noise? Okay, okay, so in this case, listen, do you remember we got all of this, all of these ones, this answers in here, we can paste them to in the second structure like this, and they are still correct, right? Entonces, en el modo de respuesta, recuerden, ambas formas pueden tener el mismo modelo de respuesta. Okay, both of them. Solo lo que vamos a cambiar ahí sería más que todo la estructura. All right. This is the this is the way. All right. This is the one that we uh, can change in in this type of positions. Good. That was just to bring up what we were doing last class. Okay, just for you. Now, the topic that we are going to be discussing is going to be a little bit different. We are going to continue with modal verbs, but now we are going to be discussing, you know, like a different one. Good. I just want you to copy that, that, that thing, and then we are going to move on with the topic, okay, for tonight. Hmm. Just give me one second. <clears throat> okay, just let me know when you finish that part, okay? When you finish copying this information, and then I will uh, move with the presentation that we're going to be discussing tonight. All right, cool. Just let me know, okay? You finish. Just copy the information. Mm, because then, yeah, because then I'm going to move on, okay? All right, people, did you finish? Terminaron? Okay, I still see you copying the information, okay? Let's go. Ah, okay. All right, no problem. Okay. No problem. Yes. Now it's working, Ruth. Hello, teacher. Ahora sí. Ya le sí. funciona. Sí, creo que del mouse. 
que no me estaba funcionando. Ah, ok, ok. Good. Gracias por esperar. All right, no problem. All right, cool. So I guess you have already finished. So let's move on. I'm going to stop sharing this thing. Just give me one second. And we are going to move to the presentation that we are going to be discussing tonight. And then the exercises that we are going to be doing in the manual. Give me one second. Okay, give me one second. This is the one. Okay, it says the topic that we are going to be discussing tonight is going to be how to use issue and should not, right? That is going to be the whole topics, you know, the whole topic focus, right? The whole class I focus about tonight. Uh, have you ever heard about this model verb? Una vez habían escuchado este este model? Should? Yes. Yes. When do we use should? Deberías. Ah, debería. Okay, that's the translation. Ok, good. ¿En qué situaciones lo uso? Para los que ya sabemos más o menos eh, eh, la función de este verbo. Como para dar un Son como para... No sé, como que lo que debió haber hecho, algo así creería yo. No me recuerdo. Haber hecho. Para sugerencia. No. Okay, very good, very good, yeah, mostly, right? Para dar yeah. Okay, good. What's the most relevant that we got? Listen, the review from the previous class, something that we just finished about the uses of could you and would you mind? Okay, now we're going to start out with the uses of should and should not in positive statements and negative statements. Then we're going to provide a short conversation that we got in the manual. And after that, we're going to do a series of exercises that we got also in the manual. So this is the whole class focused about. Good. Let's just start over. Before doing that, let's talk a little bit about these questions, people. Look at these questions. Mario, could you please help me out reading the first one? Does your company have a re regulation about employees' behavior? Be behavior. 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 Okay, good. Thank you. Listen, does your company have regulations about uh, uh -huh. employees' behavior? This is a general question for you guys. Okay? This is a general question for you. Does your company have regulations about employees behavior. Quisiera escuchar un par de opiniones, okay? About your company and what are those regulations that they have as a company with the behavior regular, of regular el tiempo en la empresa. Now, Mr. Aquí básicamente lo que está preguntando es que si la empresa, que si la empresa claro. tiene regulaciones sobre el comportamiento de sus empleados, la empresa donde mm -hmm. ustedes trabajan. Mm -hmm. right. Es verdad. Flexibilidad. Yes. Se le llama flexibilidad laboral. No. Mm, Algo no. parecido. Como Un era valor era. ético, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Exactly. Y se rige más como en qué se rige como para, como para, o sea, cuáles son esas regulaciones que sus empresas tienen para regular, valga la redundancia, 
eh, el comportamiento de sus empleados. ¿Ok? ¿Cuándo deben saber que un empleado está haciendo las cosas mal? O está hablando de manera inapropiada. O things like that. ¿Ok? That's what it, the question goes right about there. What are those regulations that generally your company has? I just want a couple of opinions about this question. What will be those regulations? Or your company doesn't have any regulation? For example, Carla Mendoza. What can you do and you cannot do in your company? Um, I can um, teach uh, subject and religious. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't can. I can't. Uh -huh. I can't uh, use uh, use the malas uh, palabras. How do you say malas right. palabras? Inappropriate words. Inappropriate words. Ah, I cannot. Okay. You cannot. Any other regulation? Can you call the student? Mm. Yes or no? Yes, yes. Really? Yes. Do you have do you have the power to score one student? Excuse me? Do you have the power to score one student? Because mm. there are institutions that they don't allow that. It's called it's like regañar. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I mentioned that. Eh, lo menciono porque hay muchas instituciones que ahora como que no mucho. Yeah, Just no me da gusto. <laughs> no. Que hay, regular hay, pueden regular. Que es como uh -huh. le digan usted. Usted tiene hora de entrada, pero hora de salida no. Porque ahí la están regulando. O cuando le dicen, va, vamos a cambiar esta bitácora. Este día vas a hacer esto. Este día y mañana vas a hacer esto. Y esto. Entonces, es, es la regulación. O le dicen, va. ¿Qué pasa si usted dice no, Juan? ¿Y qué pasa si usted dice no? No quiero eso. ¿Sancionan o despiden? Es lo que pueden decir. Si no se acopla uno. Ah, so those are regulations in your company, right? If you don't follow up instructions, you're fired. All right, Judith? Uh, in my company, uh, mm -hmm. they have ethics code. Uh -huh. And work regulation. Ajá. Uh -huh. What are those codes? Can you mention at least one? Diga. Judith, can you mention one code? You said that in your company you have codes, right? Yes, can, can, can you mention one? ¿Podría mencionar uno? Sobre el comportamiento con, el, con los empleados. Ok, all right. All right, Judith. ¿Cuál sería una falta grave en su empresa? In which you might have problems, big problems. What would you do to have, you know, like a Um, a, a, a very huge problem. Um, no estar en el lugar de trabajo en la hora indicada. Ah, okay. Not, not to be in the workplace on time, right? On the indicated time. 
Ah, okay. Good, good. What is it? What about your company? Where are those regulations? Thank you, by the way. What are those regulations that your company has? Mauricio. Hello. Hi, mister. Hi. <laughs> what are those regulations that your company has? Um, it's called ethical policy. Um, address, uh, addresses uh, for uh, Clothing and uh, employees uh, from office and field. No. Uh, okay. To uh, sexual. Uh, uh, how do you say a uh, social sexual? Sexual harass. Harass. Sexual harass. Harassment. 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 And the bullying. Ah, okay. All right. That's not allowed, right? Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Now, could you please, people, name three examples of unacceptable behavior in your company? And I'm going to start with Roberto. Roberto, could you mention an example of unacceptable behaviors in your company? What will be something that you cannot do in there? Something that is unacceptable, the opposite. <clears throat> Pasar mucho en el teléfono. Ah. Decirse okay. groserías en frente de todos los compañeros. Ah, okay, you cannot say uh -huh, bad words. Okay, good. En no respetar los horarios de trabajo. And by not respecting your schedule, you mean getting late to work and getting early to uh, from work. Yeah. Right? Mm, okay, good. There you go. Gabriel, what can you say about that? What about your company? Uh, Coupled with the standard recreate the company regulation. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Solamente. <laughs> okay, all right, good. Mario, what about you, Mario? What is an example of something unacceptable in the work, in the in the place that you work? Use the uh, computer when uh, personal plus. Competing with a personal task. Okay. Uh huh. Might be possible. All right. That might be an uh, unacceptable behavior. Mm hmm. Okay. Good. So basically, we're gonna be focusing part of part of this this these things into the uses of the structure that we are about to see. Check this out, people. Let's continue. Using should. All right. As some of you were saying, should is used to make suggestions and give advice, okay? This is when we use should for. Listen, to make suggestions and give advice, all right? So remember, we use should for suggestions and advice. Examples. All right. Take a look at this example. Francisco, let me read it, please. Choose uh, school for no, family. No, no, no. Okay. Listen up. You should call your family. All right. Let's suppose Francisco. He finished working at four, but it's 7 p.m. and Francisco is on the street, right? So let's suppose Francisco is on the street. 
and I, you know, like, and I know Francisco and I see Francisco on the street doing nothing. And I say, hey, Francisco, you should call your family. Probably they are worried. What am I doing in that case? I am suggesting something to him, right? In este caso, estoy dando una sugerencia, right? Sobre qué debería hacer. Okay. Cool. Let's go into the next one. Let's see. Elizabeth, let's read. I should work every day. Okay, there you go. I should work every day, right? Cool. That's a suggestion for ourselves, right? Y ahí es una auto sugerencia, right? O un auto consejo. Debería trabajar todos los días. Right? That's especially for people. We are advising something, right? Entonces aquí estamos aconsejando hacer algo. Okay? Let's remember. That's the main use of should. For suggestion and advice, right? Sugerencias o consejos. That's the main use of this, 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 this one. Good. Now, take a little bit, uh, a look about the structure. Vamos a ver un poco sobre la estructura. Okay, ya gramaticalmente hablando. Look at this. The structure. This is the common structure when using a positive sentence using this, this uh, modal verb, should. So you got subject plus should plus base form of the verb and plus complement, okay? This is the main structure about the uses of should in positive statements. Examples. Marilyn, read the first one. You should go home after work. Okay, cool. You should go home after work, right? I mean, deberías ir a, a, a la casa después del trabajo. Okay, that's a suggestion, right? Another one, Jocelyn. Jocelyn, are you there? Okay. Um. She should green her cleaning. Ah, uh, her clients. Clients. Okay. Clients. Okay. Listen up. She should greet her clients. Ah, I mean, ella debería saludar a sus clientes, right? That's the way how we can translate this positive statement. Mm -hmm. Let me see who else can help me out in this case. Norma, Norma, could you please help me out reading the next example? Hi, teacher. Could you please help me out reading the, the last example? They sure buy a car. Okay, thank you. They should buy a car. All right. They should buy a car, right? Ellos deberían comprar un carro. Very good. So what are we doing in that case? We are providing a suggestion. We estamos proveyendo un consejo, right? That's what we are doing in that case. Good people. Right up to now, do you have any question? Hasta acá, ¿tenemos alguna duda con respecto al uso de, de este verbo modal? Sí, chef, yo no escuché bien porque me desconecté ahí por la integración. Se va la señal. Ahí no, no sé si ahí lo estaba explicando usted. Ah, uh, yes. Estamos explicando la estructura, Cristina. Si puede, si puede observar la pantalla, ahí tenemos la estructura de should. Right? Y una serie de ejemplos en las cuales mencionamos que should es más que todo usado para 
proveer all right, o dar sugerencias o consejos sobre algo que usted debería hacer. Okay? This is like the main use of should, to provide a suggestion or advice. Okay, okay good. Something, listen, something I want you to remember is, since should is a modal verb, Every modal verb that we're going to be discussing here is not affected for the third person singular. What does it mean? It means that in this case, a sentence like she should greet her clients, the verb should is not modified with an S, right? So for you to understand better, listen. Should, como es parte de un verbo modal, los verbos modales no se modifican en tercera persona en singular en presente simple. Como pueden ver en la estructura de la oración, de la segunda oración, she should greet her clients. So, en ese caso, la, el verbo should no va con la S. ¿Ok? Because that type of verbs are not all right, permitted to be modified. Entonces, no se les es permitido modificarse su forma base a todo verbo modal. Remember that, ¿ok? Same thing happened with cool and wool, the ones that we were discussing last class. ¿Ok? All right, people. Any question or any doubt up to now? Hasta acá, ¿tenemos alguna duda, alguna pregunta? Everything is clear. Hmm. Okay, I guess everything is clear. Perfect. Listen up. What are we going to do now? Listen. Ahora, ¿qué vamos a hacer ahora? Como necesito saber si de verdad hemos aprendido y la mejor manera de saberlo si en la práctica, quiero que enfoquen su mirada a un compañero de ustedes. All right. Pongan ahí a, para que puedan verlos a todos. Y quiero que escojan a alguien en especial y le hagan un ejemplo sobre una sugerencia que esa persona deba hacer o debería hacer. Por ejemplo, let me see. <laughs> Marilyn, you should turn on the camera. So you see, I'm giving a suggestion to Marilyn. An example like that, okay? Ok, good. Yo doy el, el ejemplo. Ah, no, o yo I le was, pregunto a alguien. No, I was giving an example with you, Marini. Estaba dando un ejemplo, right, con uh -huh. usted, para que ellos me comprendan. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Okay. ah ok, ok, ok. Yes. <laughs> ok, good. Let me know when you finish, ok? Me lo hacen saber cuando hayan terminado el ejemplo. Let's go, people. Choose one person and provide a suggestion using should. No sé, puede decir, ah, you should take a shower. You should connect to the class on time. You should sleep. You should pay attention. Okay, examples like that. You should work more. Cool. Bien, los que van terminando, simplemente confirmenme y luego vamos a, cuando todos hayan terminado, vamos a leerlos. Right? The suggestions. All right, just let me know when you finish. Yeah. 
Solo una, sí. Yeah, I mean, only one. Okay. Okay, cool. I guess you have already finished. So let's start over. Francisco, you're going to be the first one, Francisco. Could you please read your example? Yes, finish. Okay, read the yes. example and tell the name of the word, I mean, of the person, and then give the suggestion, okay? Okay, uh, inicio yo. Yes. Teacher. Yes, yes. Let's go. Okay. It, uh, example. All right. After Elizabeth. You. Okay. <laughs> to Elizabeth. Okay. Okay. Just. <laughs> You should stop eating fast food. Hi, Elizabeth. You should stop eating fast food. I think Elizabeth is sleeping. Mire, Francisco me le dio car... Me le... Ah, no, ella ya, ya está conectando otra vez. Ya le iba a decir, yeah. me le dio carrera. <laughs> Elizabeth, are you no. there? Esas son las consecuencias de, de, de velarse en las fiestas. Ah, ok. Sueño rezagado. Exactly. That's why she's not participating. Yes. And... Hola, okay. me Jocelyn. Yes. Jocelyn, Francisco is giving you a suggestion using should. Pay attention. Francisco, repeat the sentence. Okay. Uh, Elizabeth, you should stop eating fast food. <laughs> you should stop eating fast food, Elizabeth. Or you will get fat. Oh, lo siento, pero me estaba fallando el internet y no escuché qué estaban haciendo. Yo creí que estaban haciendo oraciones. Yes. Yes, yes it is. Estamos creando oraciones. Sí, oraciones. Sí, oraciones. Vas a escoger a un Teníamos compañero que... suyo. Ajá, vas a escoger a un compañero suyo y darle una sugerencia usando should. Francisco la escogió a usted. Francisco es el opening ahorita. La escogió a usted, Elizabeth. ¿Escuchó el, el, la sugerencia que le dio Francisco? Ah, pues no. Que me sugiere nuevamente. Ah, the last time, Francisco. Ya. Yeah. Ok. You should stop eating fast food. <laughs> ok, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. So, no, Francisco. No, it's okay, Francisco. No. Yeah, I mean, sí, no yes. le va a hacer caso. All right. No, no, But no. Anyways, so, so thank, thank so, you for your. Uh -huh. Why pizza eating? Jesus Christ. Five slices of pizza. She eats too much <laughs> junk food. Where? But, anyways, thank you for your suggestion, Francisco. All right, Monica, read yours. Yes, teacher. Who did you choose? Oh, Gabriel. Gabriel, okay. <laughs> Gabriel, you should save money. Save money. Save ah, money. <laughs> you should save money. <laughs> All right. Uh, save Save money. Ahorrar dinero. Ah. Yes, usually. <laughs> ok. Pero no es de las que le meten 10 pesos al piggy bank y tres horas después ya lo está sacando. <laughs> Because I do that. No, no, no. I do that. 
porque yo solo sé eso. Ya, yeah, mira, I, 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 I mean. Coach. Ah. Dicen que el dinero no da la felicidad, pero créanme que cuando, cuando me pagan, qué feliz me pongo. Super happy. Man. A todo nos pasa. Yes, everybody <laughs> go through that. But anyways. <sighs> okay, good. Now, Roberto, give your suggestion. Okay, teacher, uh, Juan. Okay, let's go. Juan, uh, ahí voy, ahí voy. Yay, dale. Juan, you should be sleeping at this time. Yeah. That was that was yesterday, man. He was he was, he was very yeah, tired. Ma, hey, hoy, hoy hey. no, verdad, Juan? Man, no, hoy no. Es que ayer hey. sí estaba súper cansado, Juan. Sí, yeah, sí. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Parecida era mi sugerencia para Juan también. <laughs> man, man, it was it was for you too, Juan. Oh my God, man. La mía también. No, Juan no, es no, bien no, trópico no. ahorita. Yo le había puesto. Yo también lo hice para Juan. Oh my God. Oh, Yo le puse. Wow, yeah. You should be away in English class. No, no me quitas. <risa> me usen al pobre Juan. Ah, pues la mía es más bonita. Ok. Oh. Ruth, yours, Ruth. La mía dice. You should. You should take a vacation. Ah, you should take a vacation. So that way you won't be sleeping in the classes. <laughs> okay, yes, Ruth. Yes. All right. Mario, what about you, Mario? Hello. And your your suggestion? Oh, no como tal, no tendrá que ver con la persona, pero vamos a ver a Maridin. Uh, you, should, you should get to class early. I, did you pay attention, Marilyn? No, le entendí lo último. My God, Marilyn. Read again, you, Mario. You should get to class early. Yes, you should please. get to class early. Yes. Today was the exception about her. Yeah, I mean, she, she, got, <laughs> she was in here before me. But the, no, pero, but, pero, pero, it's the, but it's the but, platform. <laughs> but the days before, creo que es, sí, men, a esta hora se iba conectando. Eh. No, mentiras. Cuatro minutos después, pero no es mi culpa. Hasta ahí le he mandado las capturas de que está conectando, conectando y nunca se conecta. Mm. Qué feo mm. me está hablando, qué feo me está hablando, chiquita, me habla. No, yo no estoy hablando bonito. Mire, usted no está <ríe> Y no soy enojada. Me <ríe> Marilyn, nada, me Marilyn. All right, pero yo no le dije que se conectara temprano, ¿va? así que. No, pero solo... eh, ah, ahora la plata. Nada que ver, dice Mario. Ok, Mario. No, yo, pero una era una oración que dio yo. Esa es mi ¿no? que no tiene nada que ver. Bro. Con un toque de certeza, Mario. Thank you, Mario. Ah, bueno, ahí sí. No, no. <risa> ok. Ahora okay. era la excepción. <risa> exactly, exactly. Ok. Let's see what... Juan. Ajá, Juan. You were raising no, va, a ser, va a ser una pregunta también. No, no amén. Esa sentence, esa suggestion. Es una oración. La sugerencia. La sugerencia. Yes. Una sugerencia. Yes. La puedo dar una sugerencia. Ajá. Uh -huh. To no speak. You should not speak. Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿A quién a quién le dice eso, Juan? <ríe> a los que tienen problema de conectarse. <ríe> Thank you, Juan. Thank you. Mira, ya le cayó, ya le, ya le cayó Norma con patada al pecho, Juan. Así que. <laughs> okay, Juan. Thank you for your suggestion. 
<laughs> All right, let me see. Fabricio, read yours. <laughs> We're looking for the victim. The victim. Okay. Mm. Who's, the, nah. who's, your, who's your victim? Carla. All right. Which Carla? <laughs> Mendoza or Ivania? <laughs> Mendoza, porque es la única que tiene cámara. All, All right. right. You should smile at the camera sometime. Ah. <laughs> y de repente solo van a ver que, el que Fabricio se desmaya de un cacerolazo. ¿no? <laughs> no, que también se llama Carla, por eso. <laughs> Ah, 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 ok. De salvado. Ok, okay sí. Save. Ya la de No. Ah. ah. Ahí va la primera cacerola. Yeah, yeah. Si ven así. No, muy caras son. Vaya, piedras le va a tocar. Él me las compra. My. My God, man. Lo bueno es que las compra. That's the good thing. That's the good thing. Por lo menos no me pide el rodillo para amasar pan, ¿no? Exactly, man. <laughs> Big problems. Okay, let's see. All right, let's continue. Thank you, Fabricio, for your uh, example. Uh, Judith? Uh, Patricia should practice English exercise. Ah, ok, ok. Thank you, Judith. Silvia, read your suggestion. Patricia should always be my partner in the work group. Uh, Silvia, I think you got problems with the microphone because I, I, I don't listen that much. Le escucho bien suave. Okay, tell me. Hoy sí. Ahora sí, ahora sí. Okay. Para Patricia. Patricia should always be my partner in the group and in the world groups. Ah, okay. I mean, you got along with Patricia. Very good. Okay, cool, man. I'm going to send Patricia to you in the breakout rooms. I, I hope to remember that. <laughs> Espero acordarme. <laughs> okay, Hi, Silvia. Hi, Hi, Silvia. Silvia. Okay, let me see who else. No, 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 no. Elizabeth. Read your, read your example. Who said teacher? Teacher. Ah, yeah, Patricia. Yeah, aquí. Okay, let's go. Yeah, because Elizabeth, I think she's sleeping. Uh -huh. No, aquí estoy. Ah, okay. <laughs> Restregándose un ojo. No, aquí estoy. <laughs> Vaya, la sugerencia va a ser para mi compañero. Ah, okay. Francisco. Uh -huh. Okay. What's the Francisco suggestion? Francisco should get up early. Man, Francisco, you should get up early. <laughs> he got late to, to work. Ya le están diciendo que llega tarde a trabajar, mire. Okay. Thank you, Elizabeth. Patricia, your example. But uh, Roberto, All right. you will exercise in the morning. Ah, okay. You should exercise in the morning, Roberto. Pero no haga lo que yo hago, man. Cuando me quieras, eh, cuando quieras levantar. Entonces suena así. Uh, yes, yes. Pero no haga lo que yo hago, okay. Si yo digo, ah, mañana voy a hacer ejercicio, me voy a levantar a las 4 de la mañana, es cuando más tarde me levanto, man. Cinco minutos I don't más. do it. I don't do it. Yes, man. Y esos cinco minutos más de la, de la alarma, man. ¿Cómo, cómo, 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 cómo? No sé. Me estreso al final. Anyway. Exactly. Y así como que. Ah, a medio tráfico. ¿Por qué me esperé cinco minutos después? 
But anyways, that happens all the time to me, so it's normal on me. Okay, let's move. Uh, who's missing? Marvin, did you participate already? No, I yes, think uh, yeah, <laughs> oh, okay, okay, cool. Cristina, don't be sleeping, Cristina. <laughs> no, teacher, no he participado. Okay, let's go. Good, um, Rup. Con Rup, no ha participado, Rup. Uh, yeah, she participated, yeah. but no problem, let's go. Ah, okay. You should go to church on Sunday. You listen, Ruth? You should go to church on Sundays. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> uh -huh. Always. Always go. No, yo sé que va, yo sé que va, Ruth. Solo que, solo como ejemplo, nada más. Soy. <laughs> My God. Thank okay. You. All right. Good. Good. Let me see who's next. Norma, give your example, Norma. Um, okay. Marvin, you should go to the gym after class. After class? Yes. Listen up. After class, man, at 10. Yes. Mm -hmm. Es que le cuesta ah. dormir, así que aprovechemos a hacer ejercicio. Ah, yo pensé que, yo pensé que en sus sueños iba a estar en el gym, iba a levantarse así. No, no Marvin tiene que hacer. <risa> ok, good, man. Nada, man, haga, haga un gym en su casa, man. Consiga hacer esas leches, de, de esas latas de leche, man, las llena con cemento. And you put yourself there. <risa> Qué más gimnasio, man. Okay, good. Thank you, Norma. Who's missing? Anything? El problema es que ya no hay, teacher. Ya no hay de esas latas. Ah, really? You know? No, ya, ya son escasas. Hoy oh. puras bolsas. Rayos. Bueno, bolsitas de arena. La arena, la arena mojada, viera que pesan. <laughs> Horrible. Eh, eso sí. mejor con una, con una mochila buena opción Ay, teacher eh, ya me una me mochila una exactly. mochila con, con exactly o hay que irle a sacar a, a los que andan en la dom arreglando calles man, un poco de, de asfalto de eso grande y ponerlo a cada lado man, en una bolsa and you can your exercise thing ok let me see who's missing Edson, let's read your example, Edson. Hey, man, Edson, viene bien callado ahora. Are you there, Edson? Aren't you sleeping? Edson, Mariano, Martinez, Andres, are you there? Uh, no he estado tan, tan, tan atento. Lo mismo me puse como oyente, pero... Uh. <laughs> ah, espérame, que no lo alcanzaba a oír de oyente, espérame. Ah, ya me you got it. Es que no se ve casi lo, lo, lo del oyente. <laughs> sí, es muy largo mi nombre. <laughs> ok, good. Uh, uh, but, but, so it means you didn't have the, the example? Ok, he, he doesn't have the example. Jocelyn, but you had the example, Jocelyn. Let's read yours, Jocelyn. Okay. Uh, Ivania. Ivania. Uh, Ivania is working, but okay, let's go. Let's go. Okay. Ivania, you should listen to the class. <laughs> Thank you, Yoselin. All right. Let me see who's missing. Uh, William. Are you there? William? Hola, Okay, could you read your suggestion? Uh, yes. Okay, uh, let's go. Para Monica, creo que era la que había hecho. Monica Maricela, okay, let's go. You should like the fan. 
repeat again, please. You should, you should light the fence. <clears throat> you should light on the encendido. Lins. <laughs> A ver. The fence. Vaya, la había puesto. Ah, como... no. In that case, it's like you should turn on the fan. De encender el ventilador. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, you should turn yeah. on the fan. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, para encender, eh, eh, ma, cuando estamos hablando de un dispositivo como una lámpara, I mean, un, un foco o algo, es turn on. Okay. Right. Y apagarlo okay. es turn off. Like this. Okay. Okay, there you go, William. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, who's missing? Let me see. Gabriel, did you give your example, Gabriel? No, teacher. Okay, let's go. Eh, y bueno, justamente <laughs> le iba a preguntar a, a Mónica. Okay, let's attack Mónica now. <laughs> Dejaron a Juan, ahora es Mónica. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay eh, you should make a ponytail in your, in your hair. Uh, hair. 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 Ah. You should make a ponytail in your hair, Monica. You know what is a ponytail, Monica? <laughs> you don't know, Monica, what is a ponytail? ¿Qué es eso, teacher? ¿Ah? ¿Qué es eso? Ponytail se le dice se le dice cuando usted se amarra el cabello y se deja una colita acá. Atrás. Never. Never. Hey. Ok. Ok, let me see. Así como, creo que Ruth. Let me see, Ruth. Your, your hair. Póngase de lado, Ruth. Vamos a ver. Nah, kind of, kind of. Solo que en ponytail simplemente es cuando se lo amarra, se lo deja suelto. Sí, 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 como no arrollado y la colita. That's ponytail. Literal colita de ponytail. That's the way. Ok, good. Let me see. Y Carla, ¿cómo se está riendo? Let me see. Uh, who's missing? Mario, Cristina. I think everybody has already participated, ok? Now. Let's move on. Okay, now let's do the opposite. Now we're going to be discussing about should not. When do we use should not? Take a look at this. All right. Example, you know, um, definition that we got here. Sylvia, help me out reading. Should not is used to give a suggestion about something that is not a property. Ah, okay, there you go. That's what it is. Thank you, Sylvia. Listen, should not is not used to give a suggestion. Listen, should not is used to give a suggestion about something that is not appropriate appropriate, right? Should not es básicamente usado para dar sugerencias sobre algo que no es apropiado. Okay? That's what it is. Good. Examples? Examples? Take a look at this example. All right. Uh, Mario, let's read this one, please. Darius should not use many emojis in his email. Ah, okay, thank you. Look at, look at this. Darius should not use many emojis in his emails, right? I mean, Darío no debería de usar emojis en sus correos, right? That's something, okay, that is suggesting 
that is being a suggestion about something that is not appropriate, okay? Aquí estamos hablando de algo inapropiado. Another example. Marlene. Helen should not speak so loudly. Okay, thank you. All right, that's another suggestion about something negative, right? Good. Patricia? Patricia? Are you there, Patricia? Patricia. Aquí estoy. Ah, men, es que casi no se le escucha. A ver. <ríe> es que me dejó en mudo. Ah, me. Yeah. <ríe> Why me, amiga? I, 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 no, I, I don't use, I don't use that thing. Me okay. dejé en mudo. <ríe> okay, okay, let's go. <ríe> Gabriel should tell sex, 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 sexist, sexist jokes. Ah, okay, thank you. Thank you, Patricia. In this case, listen. Básicamente ahí lo que hemos hecho es combinar el should con el not y formar una sola palabra contractada, que en ese caso sería, la pronunciación sería shouldn't shouldn't okay that will be the pronunciation shouldn't okay let's remember that will be the pronunciation from that word shouldn't okay good let's continue we got the last one in here okay Carla, tell me a reading, please. Okay. Uh, your boss shouldn't shoot at you. Shout. Shout. Shout at you. Okay. Shout at you. Okay. Good. What is that? ¿Qué, qué, ¿Cuál es esa sugerencia ahí? Your boss shouldn't shout at you. All right. Tu jefe no debería de gritarte. Okay, that's, 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 that's the form, right? Shout means gritar. Okay, good. All right, people, any question with these examples? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? ¿Todo va claro? Everything okay? Teacher, should not sería, should not se pronuncia, should not. Should not, yeah. Should not. Mm -hmm. okay. Should, should not. All right. Okay. Good. Let's take a look at the structure. Let's the structure. Give me one second. Look. What is the structure? Look. The structure can be this way. Listen. Which should not, the structure generally will be a subject plus should not, or in parentheses, I'm going to put the way contracted, shouldn't, like this, okay, contracted, shouldn't plus base form of verb plus complement okay this is the structure for a negative statement okay for example like my students should shouldn't speak spanish in my class. Right? My students shouldn't speak Spanish in my class. All right? That's a suggestion about something negative. 
Okay. Another one. My students shouldn't sleep during the class time. You see? Those ones are suggestions about something negative, okay? Something inappropriate. Okay, and so on. Y entonces así sucesivamente es como podemos crear oraciones negativas, okay, sobre este tipo de estructura. All right? Cool, people. Bueno, no sé si le van a tomar alguna captura de pantalla o algo a esos ejemplos, okay, o si lo están escribiendo, les voy a dar un chance, okay, porque necesito dejar de compartir para pasar la segunda asistencia, okay. Let me know when you finish. Me hacen saber cuando terminen, please. Good. Perfect, Fabricio. You finish. Perfect. Perfect. I finish. Thank you, Carla. Finish. Okay, good. So let's move on, okay? This is when I'm going to stop sharing this. And I'm going to pass the second attendance list. Give me one second. All right, Edson Mariano. Present teacher. Okay, good. Gabriel Esaú. Present. Nice, Jocelyn Jahaira. All right, she's not here. Judith Maribel. Present teacher. All right, Carla Ivania. Okay, she's working. Carla Lorena. Present. All right, Cateri Guadalupe. Catherine mm, told me that she's working too. Present, present. Okay, cool. Maria Elena. Maria Elena. Okay, she's not here. Mario Ernesto. Present. Okay, good. Marvin Alexander. Present. Monica Maricela. Present. Okay, perfect. Nelson Fabricio. Present. Ok, Norma Beatriz. Norma Beatriz. Ok. Patricia Guadalupe. Present, Ok, Roberto Emilio. Present teacher. All right. Ruth Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Okay. William Alexander. Present. Okay. Jocelyn Stephanie. Present teacher. Okay. Juan Ricardo. Okay, it is Cecilia. 
Present teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, next. Francisco Ernesto. Francisco Pre Ernesto. Present, present. Okay, good, good. Abigail Elizabeth. Present. Okay, perfect. Okay, Yo people. No escuché what mi nombre. Yes, I said. Mm, no, I... Yes, Marilyn. Ah, you see, you were sleeping, huh? That's why. And now you're speaking to me and you got the microphone off. Se ve así por los lentes, pero tengo los ojos abiertos. Sí, ya tengo sueño, pero estoy despierto. Ajá, con razón. Me lo compré bailando con el micrófono ya. apagado. Ya me copió. Ya me copió. Sí, sí, lo siento. Lo siento. Oh. Ajá, ajá. Ok. No se preocupe, ya nos vamos a despertar con la práctica que vamos a ir a hacer al manual. Yes. Ok, listen up. Let's go into the manual and I want you to go to page. Give me one second. Jesus Christ. What is this? 31. Vamos a la página 31. Ok. For the one who got the greeting manuals, let's go into the page 31. Specifically, this page. Again. Jesus Christ, I got a very right. slow computer. Definitely technology is not mine. Who is, who is good at technology here? ¿Quién es bueno con la tecnología acá? ¿Algún técnico en, en, en computers and all the things in here? Nobody? Fabricio? All right, Fabricio, listen up. I'm, I, I'm going to put this situation, Fabricio, okay? Micro S. I bought One this computer. Buying. I bought this computer exactly seven months ago, okay? I bought it seven months ago. The hard drive or the hard disk is one terabyte, okay? The, the other card, is uh, eight gigabytes, okay? And the computer is super slow, man. And I don't have anything in here. I just use this computer just to open up Zoom and just to open up the web pages that I need and that's it. I don't have anything else in here. And it's just slow. Any reason for this? What the me I say? The memory is the quantum. Eight gigabytes. The quantum is. Ah, un terabyte de disco duro y un, un y ocho gigabytes de, de, de otra memoria de RAM. Uh -huh. The RAM. Uh, and the processor. I don't remember. 2.4 gigabytes or yeah, yeah, I think it's that, that's the one. I will look at the specifications later on, okay? I will I will focus on you later on. Give me one second. I'm just gonna practice this thing with you. And then I, I will I will let you know that part because it's weird, man. Sure. It's super weird. Uh -huh. sure. Yes. Debería de cambiarle el HDD a un a un estado sólido. Muchas veces el se supone que es ese estado sólido. Se supone. Origin. Se supone que ya viene con estado sólido. Mm, pero no debería darle ese problema. Exactly, that's mm. what I'm saying. Uh, uh, the but... other can be the application that spend resource. Mm. Because to open up a PowerPoint presentation, it lasts like 30 seconds, man, or more, sometimes one minute. 
to open up a presentation. Mm -hmm. eh, it sucks. Ah. Ajá, también porque como a la hora de que inicia Windows, eh, hay otras aplicaciones que, que se abren automáticamente al iniciar sesión y esas son las que empiezan a, agarrar, a absorber recursos. Ajá, pero, eh, por lo pero, menos la, la máquina de la, de la empresa eh, yes. me decía a mi jefe, ¿y por qué tenés esta babosada tan lenta? Yo, así me la dieron, le digo, revisala. Y empezó a revisar tratando de buscar si tenía juegos, si tenía programas piratas. No encontró <risa> absolutamente nada. Yo, ya ves, Leo. Entonces eh, hay una rutina que es, eh, quiero ver si me, no me acuerdo. MS Config creo que es. Eh, ahí está cargando. Eh, aprieta el, el botón de icono, el icono de, de Windows con R y le da MS Config y le va a aparecer, vamos a ver, no, no, no puedo compartir, eh, le va a aparecer una ventana que dice configuración del sistema, eh, quiero ver, general, arranque, servicios, iconos y herramientas y ahí hay que darle inicio selectivo. Y quiero ver, servicios aparecen todos. Eh, inicio de Windows, abrir el administrador y ahí empieza, por ejemplo, eh, a desconectar Skype, por decir algo. Eh, quiero ver qué otro programa. And everything. Ah. Todos los que están consumiendo recursos y que hacen que el sistema se vuelva, se vuelva más lento. Por ejemplo, a mí me ah. aparece Windows Security, okay. Skype, que está deshabilitado. Okay. Eh, Paperport también habilitado, Microsoft Teams lo tengo deshabilitado, I eh, will. Messenger deshabilitado y así va deshabilitado, ah, Cortana también lo tengo deshabilitado, Cisco Webex eh, lo tengo habilitado pero no, no lo estoy ocupando. Y así Mauricio, ocupando... that's a lot of things, man. Okay. Mauricio, ¿Sí? you have, I, I got abrumado, man, with that thing. <laughs> Teacher. Ah. Lo, lo otro que le puede funcionar es que le borre todo el, el caché que almacena la computadora eh, aplicando Windows más R y en el, 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 el recuadro de, de búsqueda agregarle allí okay. el signo de, de porcentaje más ten y al final este Igual forma el signo de, de porcentaje, ¿va? pero Ajá. ten eh, T H E M P. Ok, ay, ah, la cara del teacher que se queda. Ah, bueno. ah, ah, bueno. <risa> no, Me teacher, quedé en no, running, man. Ninguna solución de esa le va a funcionar. ¿Qué Windows tiene? Windows 11. Tiene que reiniciar, teacher. ¿Windows qué? Así como dicen, no. Windows, reinicia. Windows, yeah, Windows 11. <risa> Tengo una sugerencia, teacher. ¿Y por qué no nos quedamos hasta aquí en la clase? Windows 11. No, las actualizaciones automáticas lo están, están haciendo ¿Sí? eso. Ajá. Ah, Tiene bastantes ah, aplicaciones. Eh, eso eso lo está haciendo todo eso. Ya se las voy a matar entonces. Ok, thank Pero you for the advice, people. Ok. Solo las detiene, ya estuvo. Yeah, I mean, ajá. Uh -huh. I will, I will. All right, but thank you for the suggestions, everybody. Quedé en la misma porque me dieron muchos términos que, que al final me quedé en, en corra, no sé qué. But anyways, thank you for everybody. All right, Bote la listen máquina. up. <laughs> exactly. Ya la voy a empeñar. All right, let's okay. say. Listen. Okay. Is there wrong que re, reinicie otra vez? <laughs> nah, man, if I do not, no terminamos a las 11, man. Okay, listen. This is, this is a conversation between Claudia and Raúl. And here we're going to apply the uses of should in positive statements and should in negative statements, okay? This is a very short conversation. Let's practice a little bit. It says, I can't believe it. Listen, I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Robert is addicted to his phone. Ah, huh, Roberto. Did you see him? Did you see him? Okay, it says, Raul says, you're right. You're right. 
he should not shut in a meeting. He should not shut in a meeting. It says Claudia, absolutely. Absolutely. That is not polite. That is not polite. Raul says, he should answer his messages after the meetings. He should answer his messages after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. <laughs> and we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. That's not polite either. Así como cuando estamos chambreando de un amigo y estamos diciendo que no debemos hacer lo mismo. All right. Agree. It says Claudia. Agree. We should help him instead. We should help him instead. Okay, people. From this vocabulary, in this very short conversation, do you have any question with any word? Any word? ¿Alguna pregunta con el vocabulario de esta pequeña conversación? Something that you don't understand that much? Eh, justo esa, oh. esa parte del picture que tiene señalada. Does no poly... polite. Polite. Either. Y, y, either, ¿qué, ¿qué significa? Ok, que eso no es, eh, que eso tampoco es educado. Okay. Cortés. Gracias. Ok, el either es para... Uh, Dar como una afirmación, pero en modo negativo. ¿Cómo así? Si usted dice, uh, I don't participate in class. No participo en clase. Y venga otro compañero y le diga, I don't do it either. Ah, yo tampoco. O oh, me either. Right? ¿Significa que Tampoco, right? That's to, to, to say something affirmative about something negative. Good. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta con relación a ese vocabulario? Una pregunta. Um, is tell la última palabra de Claudia? ¿Qué significaría? Agree o instead? Instead. Ah, instead es como en vez de. Okay, that's it. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. I can bail it. I can bail it. Así se pronuncia. Bail. Ah, listen, I can't believe it. Believe it. Believe, believe it. Believe it. Yeah, believe it. Believe. Believe I it. can't believe it. It's like, ah, I mean, no puedo, pre no puedo creerlo. Right? That's what mm -hmm. it is. I can't believe it. Good. All right, people. Nos vamos a ir a practicar esta pequeña conversación. All right. Right after the practice, luego de la práctica, okay, me van a bajar a esta parte acá. Listen. Okay. This one is not about doing, pero esta sí, acá. Eso es lo que me interesa. Listen. Ustedes van a encontrar estas, estas pequeños uh, artículos acá. ¿Ok? ¿Qué vamos a hacer con ellos? Listen. Acá les están presentando una situación. Here you have a situation. Por ejemplo, en esta situación. Listen. Dice, Peter is the new supervisor. He likes to give orders. He never says please. I mean... Pero es el nuevo supervisor. Le gusta dar órdenes y nunca dice, por favor. Ok, vamos a darle acá, en esta parte acá, una sugerencia. All right, a Peter. Entonces la sugerencia dice, Peter should ask polite request. Ah, I mean, Peter debería pedir o solicitar las cosas de manera educada. Ok. O tenemos otra. Peter should say please when he asks for something. 
Ah, mi Peter debería decir por favor cuando pide algo. You see? So, uh, I mean, suggestions like this. Entonces, tienen tres situaciones más. Entonces, dependiendo de cada situación, ustedes me van a elaborar acá, ya sea una o dos sugerencias sobre lo que dice acá. No sé si hemos comprendido. ¿Comprendimos lo que vamos a hacer, tipo? Yes. Yes. Okay. Very good. Yeah, I mean, that's all we're going to do. Entonces, es todo lo que vamos a hacer. La conversación quiero que me la practiquen por unos tres minutos. Luego bajan directamente a esa parte, ¿ok? That's what we're going to do. Give me one second. All right. Okay, Judith, no problem. So you're not participating in the in the in the in the conversation. Let me see. Vamos a ver quiénes son los que no están acá ahorita. Carla, Elizabeth, are you there? Can you participate? Sí. Okay, perfect. Norma, can you participate? Ay. Ay. Sí, teacher. Ah. Es que se me traba que... la máquina, pero yo sí. Pensé... Yo pensé que esa expresión era como que, ay, hombre, ya, ya viene el pinche diciendo. No, es que andaba buscando, pero se queda como así frisada. Ya está fregando ah, este techo, okay. viejo. <risa> ok, ok. All right. Perfect. Ay, no, no teacher, no. <risa> Pero igual, lo vamos a poner en práctica, ¿ok? No problema, Norma. Right, ah, ya lo puso ahí en práctica. Catherine, Catherine, ¿can you participate? Uh, yes. All right, cool. Edson? You cannot participate, Edson? Nah, he cannot. So, it's going to be Carla and Edson, right? Okay, cool. Let me see. You are 22. No, teacher, perdón. Okay, mister, no problem. I am going to create the groups right now. Give me one second. Mm -hmm. Give me one second, I'm just doing the groups. Where we just say. All right, people, let's go to practice. Teacher, no me acepta. ¿Me acepta? Permítame. No. Lo voy a... Lo voy okay. Entonces, permítame, permítame. Catherine, ¿y a usted? Tres. Ve ahora. 